Roberts has been selling property in Tasmania for over 140 years. Everyone knows we sell farms. Truth is, we sell a lot of farms. And Roberts also sells residential property. In fact, as the largest independent agent in the state, across Tasmania, from coast to coast, from Hobart to Launceston, from Burnie to Devonport, and from Penguin to Pine Ganna to the Bay of Fires, we sell a lot of residential property. I sold this house to a farmer. It's taking him a little while to adjust. Roberts Real Estate, for all your property needs, including buying, selling or property management, call Roberts. Taxi! Sometimes when decisions are hard to make. We are gathered here today. Taxi! When time is of the essence. To join this man and this woman. When there's no room for error. Taxi! To be thy lawful wedded husband. I will. Taxi! There's really only one choice. Lawful wedded wife. I will. To save the headaches, the hassles. I object! He should have looked in the yellow pages. Look first in the yellow pages. The owner of this amazing seaside mansion put the house on the market and then had to leave town. Anyway, they asked down at the office if anyone would like to come and clean it up, ready for inspection. So I put my hand up. I've even got the key. I can't wait to get inside. Well, I've got so much to do. And how retro is this? It's an iridescent Monaro green kitchen. And the paint is real Monaro green Juco. How cool is that? Well, I'd better do something. I know. I'll give the Monaro GTS Juco a quick cut and polish. Tonight's dream home is situated near the beach in Byron Bay. It has three bedrooms, all with en-suites. It's on an 800 square metre residential block and priced at 3.8 million. I think we're going to have to have a word with that girl. She's having a little bit too much of a good time. Now remember, if you can see yourself living in that flash shack and you've got the readies, give us a call. Here's the number and we'll put you in touch with our agents. I'm glad Joe doesn't know about these prawns. And here's the good bit. When you step outside, you're literally right on the beach. And incredibly, every section of the house was bought out from Thailand. This place truly is exotic. There's nothing better than a bit of whale watching from the bath. This place is about to go ballistic as people from all across the district and from around Australia come here to Burrawa to celebrate the annual Irish Wool Fest. Barbara, how does it compare the running of the sheep to the running of the bulls in uh, Pamplona, Spain? Well, it's the Australian woolly version of the running of the bull. OK, so it's like an, the, uh, the Ugg boot version of the running of the bulls. Absolutely, yes. Now, you can't just jump in there and run with the sheep, can no, you? you? absolutely can... not. No. We sort of have people there trying to make sure that doesn't happen. Right. What would happen if somebody did? What would you do, do you think? Oh, they'd probably get trampled by the sheep. There's a very risky business, this running of the sheep. Well, it, 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 it can be, it can be. Yeah. It's dangerous, you know. Well, you imagine what could happen. You know, here's 150 cranky sheep. Anything could happen. They could suffocate you with their wool. You never know. Do you? You never know, how. <laughs> that's right. It's a risky yeah. business, this running of the oh, sheep. Oh, yeah, it is. Sheep are very unpredictable. A rogue sheep could escape and, yeah. Trample you to death. <laughs> Could end up with lamb chops, yeah, lamb stew. And they're off and racing. Out of the gates now is number 75. Sweeps to the front of the field, followed by 19 and 53 in third place by length there. Racing wide now as the field barrels down the straight. A furlock to go at number 48 takes the lead. Centre of track, it's number 75, followed by 53 and 19 falls to the back of the field. Five 
Check it out. <laughs> 